under normal circumstances, when you lose three <laughs> gigantic members of your cabinet in mm. the same 24 hours, mm. the Prime Minister would be fatally wounded. Oddly, it seems like she isn't necessarily fatally wounded because they're terrified of a new leadership yeah. contest triggering a general election. Yeah. And then potentially the favourite with the bookies to be the next Prime Minister right now is Jeremy Corbyn. Yeah, well, well Theresa May lives to die another day. We're mm. in the end of her mm. premiership. Yeah. It's quite when she goes. You could get rid of her, you could get somebody like Jeremy Hunt, and you could survive as a government. It doesn't mean that automatically there'll be a general election, but her authority is shot. Where that leaves her and us as a country, well, both, well, both up, uh, you know, the old right. creek well, without well, a paddle, actually. She still has got mm -hmm. some supporters, because they just yeah. want stability and things to settle down. Some think mm -hmm. to lose two cabinet ministers of such seniority over mm -hmm. this Brexit plan, she yeah. can then say to the EU negotiators, OK, you force me into even more concessions, I could lose another cabinet minister, I could be out, and you then get somebody like Rhys Mogg. But why do they care? Yeah. Yeah. Why well, they Aren't they just sitting back laughing? Well, they are. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're like, look at these idiots. They're yeah. all yeah. killing each other, yeah. and actually every day they, they kill each other. The, 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 the plan they're trying to put forward gets ever more diluted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So eventually it ends up being we not stay, Brexit. Presumably. That's, that, what the... that's, what they, that's what they hope. Donald yeah. Tusk was talking about perhaps we'll stay now. But yeah. Michelle Barnier, their chief negotiator, will have woke up this morning humming Ode to Joy. Yeah. Yeah. While ours is reading reading documents, what trying to get up me, the speed. Andrew, it's, uh, what you know. struck me yesterday was when you were listening to you know Jacob Rees Mogg and, mm. and those people who had resigned, people weren't saying, but it's time now for the leader to go and for a hard Brexiteer to be in there to deliver this vision that they're all resigning over. And I don't understand why the Brexiteers don't want a Brexiteer in charge now? Is it because they're so scared of removing Theresa May and letting Jeremy Corbyn in? That's the that fear. they're not all sort they're, of stabbing they're, her in they're, the back? They're terrified of a general election because the public would look at the chaos in the Tory mm. ranks and probably... I might punish them. Exactly. Mm. And another general election that people but don't want. But until a Brexiteer's in charge, yeah. aren't they mm. always going to be... Um, all the top jobs now right. are being held by... Well, the Brexit... Or, almost all of yeah, them are being the, held by so Remain. The new, yeah. no, no, the new Brexit Secretary, Dominic Raab, is a... Oh, he's a Brexiteer. ...tooth and claw yeah. Brexiteer. But Great Matt Hancock David is Davis. a Remainer. He is. H home is foreign chancellor. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. So yeah. most mm. of the top pillars yeah. of... Yeah. The other thing that struck me yesterday, Theresa May, female Prime Minister, only the second one we've ever had, promoted seven people. They're all white men. Amazing. Well, this is quite an interesting stat. Yeah, is that actually when push came to shove? I know. You know. But, but, although I quite agree, if they're the right people for the job, yeah, yeah. you should give them the but job. But are they all the right people for well, the job? But she's she, running out of choices, isn't but, she? But she was replacing white men with white men. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think she was probably thinking, I must get a cabinet that reflects the gender balance of but the But given the, the chaos the we're in, is she it time panic. to have less white men? Yeah, <laughs> well, I, I know. Yeah, well, off you go. And, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't do that. I don't want that. I'd rather go to Love Island. No. I love you, Love Island. Yes. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. Quick prediction from you. We've got Tom Watson coming up, which should be very interesting, obviously, given the state of... And don't forget the disarray in Labour's ranks, well, which doesn't get reported because of the right, chaos. No, because the they can't agree with each other no. either. I mean, there is a stain on all the houses yeah, here, I, I think, isn't there, Kevin? Yeah, yeah. Give me a very quick assessment of where you think this goes in the next six or seven weeks. Right. right, I think Theresa May will still be there, but she's not going to... She'll be out next year. I think that's what will happen. Yeah. But her Brexit plan is in serious danger, from her point of view, of being rejected by the House of Commons. Two big key votes on customs and trade next week, and there could be this left and right unite. Her to Tory rebels and, and Labour. And then she'll have to go back to okay. the drawing board. Andrew? Well, I agree. I think they'll get rid of her almost straight away after March when we come out of the EU. What they have to do, they have to tr the ballot will be triggered mm. by 48 Tory MPs, private... And, mm. uh, and, but I say this, if these MPs defeat her in the Commons next week, the conclusion could be that Britain leaves the European Union with no... You're, you're at the Daily Mail, obviously. Yeah. They've been the chief cheerleaders yeah. for Brexit, right? Yeah. Do, does the Daily Mail believe that this plan, even in its current state, which will be diluted by the mm. EU, this is just our first, like, this is what yeah, we no. think, if it gets as far as the EU and they dilute it, is this Brexit as the Daily Mail understands it? Absolutely today? not. In its current form, it isn't. Mm. And that's before she agrees to even more concessions. This will get watered down because this, yeah. is, this yeah. is our most aggressive yeah. and plan. And we mustn't forget that 17.4 right. million people voted this and they're being betrayed. No, I think no. it's... But except we don't know what 17.4 no, million well, people voted. voted. They, they, voted the they voted to leave the EU. They voted to leave the EU. They, they voted to end the movement of people. <laughs> and Brussels... So we many have no idea. We can or can't okay. we there are so many competing versions, but that plan leaves us poorer, weaker, with less sovereignty. There's no question about that. OK.